I'm originally from New Zealand, born and raised uh, there, and I went to medical school at the University of Auckland, um, and then um, subsequently uh, decided to come on over to uh, the United States for further training after I finished medical school, um, and came over here in 2005 and did um, training at uh, MCV, um, for started with internal medicine and then on through uh, cardiology training. Well, a lot of that had to do with um, when I went, met my wife, who is uh, actually from Germany. We um, decided uh, once we realized we were going to, uh, uh, you know, basically be together for the long haul, we were uh, going to have to figure out where in the world we were going to uh, going to live. So we both sort of settled on on the idea that coming to the United States would be uh, wonderful for uh, training opportunities and for for uh, just to settle down and have a family and everything. My uh, wife is from Germany, and and uh, and I'm from New Zealand, so. It's kind of an interesting setup. Uh, we have uh, two children, another one on the way. So a lot of life outside of work kind of revolves around family life and, and uh, doing things for uh, you know with the kids and just kind of enjoying family life and uh, church activities and things like that. During high school, really, I was uh, starting to think about a lot of different options and. Um, my mom's a nurse, and so uh, I got to kind of hear a little bit about what's going on in, in healthcare uh, from her, uh, and kind of thought about what it might be like to be a doctor and to uh, serve uh, patients in that way, and thought that would be a really uh, excellent, excellent calling. Really, um, my mother initially tried to talk me out of it because of all the hard work it would involve, but uh, uh, she took me uh, actually to, for a visit to the emergency room, thinking that would for sure uh, convince me uh, otherwise, but I actually found that really cool and I thought this is uh, just a great way to, uh, uh, a, great, a great occupation, a great way to help people. It's an exciting field with lots of uh, innovations that continue, uh, continue along the way. Um, I also have uh, other interest areas as well and, and just uh, in, in various forms of uh, imaging modalities as well that are com really complementary in a lot of ways to uh, what we do in the cath lab. So uh, especially with uh, cardiac CT imaging that often helps uh, guide us both in terms of uh, coronary procedures and also peripheral vascular procedures as well when we're looking at patients that have block blocked arteries in their legs and we're trying to figure out what strategies would be uh, best to treat those. Uh, it's a great privilege to work in this field. Um, I think you know we're often called to see um, you know uh, patients with uh, acute heart attacks in the ER, and, and it's uh, it's it's really you feel like you're kind of walking on sacred ground a lot of times because you're diving into a patient's uh, most uh, difficult situation. They're really sort of facing a lot of uh, a lot of uncertainty, discomfort, all the kind of these these terrible things, and you're trying to come alongside them quickly to to uh, sort the problem out and try and you know, uh, get them promptly to the care that they need uh, to, to get the, uh, if it's a blocked, uh, blocked coronary artery, to get that open again. Um, and to really see, uh, see the, the patients do well after that, after they've come in with something that could have been, you know, potentially life-threatening, to see them get better and, and walk out of the hospital and come back and follow up. It's, it's a really, it's, a, it's just a great privilege to be able to have, to be blessed with the skills to be able to actually uh, do something at that point.